Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy Sunday. This reading may go up on Saturday, but this reading is for the 25th of June through the 25th of July. Let's get into it, Aries. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. The moon is currently in Virgo. Virgo is a sign. It's a, it's a perfectionist sign. It's the, the symbol is a virgin. It's a very practical, analytical, and a very health conscious sign. And it's a divine feminine earth sign, right? So this is your opportunity and it's ruled by mercury i need to mention all of these things to help make this make sense and it's a it's a it's a ruled by mercury the communication and um learning planet is the messenger planet it also is aligned with travel and those kind of things so technology travel so how are the messages traveling to you you want to make sure you're in a, in a position to be in receiving mode because you all are senders by default like divine masculine energies so because you're sending out messages, you don't always want to be so active. Source is saying, sit down, preferably near, you know, nature um, or in nature where you are able to really, really receive. That could be at a pool, a pool, a beach, a pond, a lake, wherever. It's an earth sign. So you want to, you're reconnecting with the earth. You're recharging from the earth. And because you're a fire sign, maybe under the sun, you know, during the day. So you can just be in receiving mode. We're trying to, <clears throat> excuse me, we're trying to close out this, this phase so that we can move into the first quarter moon phase in Libra. And so I, everybody had those questions on the 18th of the month. So if you want to know what those questions are, then listen to the video for the 18th of June. Let's get into it, Aries. Let's see what's to come for you. Obviously, I have questions for you. A lot of people have asked me for more questions instead of just on Sundays. And so not a problem at all. So every time a video goes up, there will be questions that's going to kind of help you learn more about uh zodiac signs and the emotions attached to all of that right so like i said before virgo is a sign that's uh virgo moon lights up our focus to detail and the ability to analyze pros and cons with a practical and objective eye first card out of the deck is the princes of swords then we also have the three of pentacles we also have the ten of pentacles we have the king of cups we have the elbow el bobo and also queen of swords all right El Bobo. Somebody is definitely closing out a cycle airtight and moving on from something, right? And actually feeling a lot better, actually, you know, doing that and putting all of that energy or that fire. You all have great ideas, Aries. So you want to put all those great ideas into your legacy wealth, right? Possibly you and another person, whether it's a business partner or love interest. But that's where I see somebody putting all their energy instead of putting their energy into things that have been burned, you know, have burned you out or um, which could be like, <clears throat> excuse me um you and other people having a, a a vast difference between your definitions of love trust healing gratitude compassion connection and also forgiveness your definitions are significantly different somebody says hey i'm not going to burn myself out over this anymore let me move on let me get near waters here's the king of cups king of your emotions so i can start focusing on my leg i can put my energy towards remember you all are ruled by the energy planet mars I need to put my energy towards my legacy and let everything else fall in place. As I am healing and re-energizing, um, recharging by being in my own purpose, my own light, my own sun, like we said, sun sign, your sunlight, your creative life force, then I can start to say to source, okay, I'm starting to see some things come together. Now I can start attracting or being very specific, deliberate and intentional about exactly what I want to attract, whether it's love, more money, new job, whatever the case may be. So I do see you on your throne, queen of, queen of swords. I see you on your throne, um, really uh, starting to think about uh, how I want to start attracting whatever it is you want to attract, right? Whatever it is you want to attract. So again, primarily focusing on your legacy wealth and everything is perfectly aligned. So as God is starting to remove people from your life, people, places, and things from your life, um, Aries, just know that it's actually for your good so that you can focus on your legacy. There's a lot of wealth. I think in your last reading, I said, you know, the reading came out as like your wealth. Wealth is your birthright. And so let God do it. Let God remove people from your life. Everything doesn't have to be dramatic or traumatic as God is removing people from your life, right? So if people are removing themselves from your life, release them in love. You can always toss things into a burning bowl and release it in love. So I do see somebody feeling a, like a changed person, feeling liberated. It's two energies in particular. When I talk about energy, we got the full card twice. When I talk about energies, like El Bobo and uh, the same thing, the full. Um, 
somebody may have felt foolish or like they made a lot of mistakes when it came to certain things, but recognize that Source was trying to help you with your demons to help you realize what your demons were, right? So our demons are those things as temptations for us that tempt us to vibrate low, tempt us to pull out that blowtorch and singe people and then go, oh my God, I, you know, they pushed me to the point. At this stage, somebody is saying, okay, I know what my demons are. I know when it's time for me to get near water, when to kind of sort of calm down a little bit. Here we also have the star card. Um, star card is the 17th card in tarot and seven, one plus seven is eight. So this is where somebody may have felt like to some degree they lost their focus. So whenever you think about certain things, you feel like, okay, I get to a lower frequency here. We have, I go to a lower frequency. And again, somebody may have been blinded by two things in their, in their lives. It could have been, um, like I said, the eight of swords and also the two of swords. You see how these people have on blindfolds, like somebody was in denial about something, like somebody just did not want to believe, you know, something, you know, your heart may have been in the right place, but source is saying to you, instead of uh, wearing blindfolds, take the blindfolds off and just recognize that some energy is out of your life for good. They're gone. Just move on, you know, go, move on, start the healing process, continue investing in yourself, continue working very hard, you know, on yourself. God has everything aligned for you. And again, when people, when God removes people from your life and recognize that the cycle is closed, you know, sometimes you don't get it. Uh, and and I, I think the physical death is probably the best example of this. Sometimes you don't get an opportunity to understand why. You really don't. You know, why did this person die? Or why did this person cut me off? Why did this person stop dating me? Why did this person just, you know, didn't want to do business with me anymore? Just why? Sometimes you don't get the answers and that's okay. Release people in love, release people in love so that you can continue moving on. Again, I'm seeing a lot of wealth in your cards. So sometimes you wish you got a, you had an opportunity. That's why I always say, you know, um, you know, while people are still alive, when I'm talking about like the relationship is still alive, when people are physically still alive in your life and, um, you know, say everything that needs to be said. So when, when it's an ending, the death rebirth, then you don't feel like there's regrets or there's some things that were left unsaid. You know, if you feel like in relationships, you need to speak up or apologize or, um, you know, ask for an apology or, you know, ask for clarity while you're in a relationship, ask, open your mouth, say something, you know, say something, you know, so something is definitely, this is, this is how somebody was. Every time they think, thought about certain energies, it was self-sabotage, like overthought it, right? It's like somebody just can't, you know, come to terms with something that's actually over. And, and it could be, you know, like I said, the person could be physically still alive or, you know, they are, you know, resting in peace, you know, either way. Here we have the Ace of Wands. We also have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups. We also have the Two of Coins, Knight of Coins, and also Judgment Card. You're definitely breaking um, generational cycles, chains, and curses. And so Source is saying, keep your vibrations as high as you possibly can. This card right here is attached to Pluto. Pluto is currently retrograde. And this is the this is the death rebirth. You know, like somebody's seeing things from a higher frequency now. Just like, you know, again, your definition of love, trust, healing, gratitude, compassion, connection, forgiveness, significantly different. So, you know, rather than going back and forth, like some people do, they go back and forth for years and, and then, then use the excuse that I've known this person for years or this is a family member or whatever to say, I can't just go ahead and close out this, you know, while it's still alive, you know, there's still time for forgiveness. If you come back together and recognize that your 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 this is so much of a difference, it actually causes an argument. It was like a waste of energy. So right now, somebody's recognizing that the amount of time that you had with people, there was just a difference. Just like I said, difference of you know definitions here. Here we have the ten of cups. So I do see I do see um, you know somebody. It just makes sure that you keep your tribe around you, your people, your tribe, your community. You know people around you to nurture you through whatever it is. You know, and those people may seem like they may seem biased. You know, and other people from the outside. But remember, they're on your frequency, so they may be saying to you, you know, this person is holding a grudge or whatever the case may be. Again, that's giving it too much air. That's still keeping something alive. So, sources saying, close it out, close it out. Two of coins. So again, every time you're closing out cycles, you're making room for new, whatever it is you've been praying to God for, whatever it is you've been praying to God for. So it could be something as simple as this, you know, I'm waiting for an increase at work. 
and then you have a during the weekend you are you bring up something that you had already closed out or somebody else brings up something that you have cycle you had already closed out and then you give air to it you breathe air back into a situation and now it's alive now that energy is taking up space for the thing that you asked for then you go back to work and then your manager tells you oh they haven't really signed off on the paperwork i thought we would have heard back by you know back by today and we haven't heard anything so now we're just kind of all in limbo trying to wait it can happen just it's energy right so again here we have the knight of cups source is saying the only person that can save you is you aries so the moment somebody bring in, in that example the moment that somebody brings something up just say listen that's out of my universe right now let's talk about something else you don't have to say anything at all about it because sometimes people are waiting for gossip they're waiting for oh well, what happened you know nothing it's outside of my universe let's talk about something else seven of cups and that's why i said it because there's a lot of temptation this card right here is from this right here the devil tempting you to see if you're really ready to close out cycles and move on we also have the ace of wands and also the ten of cups and so source is saying to you focus on your um focus on your your community focus on you know your soul family right some people call it a soul tribe but whatever you call it focus on that right here we have the ace of wands and so your third eye is definitely wide open and like i said you have a lot of ideas but now that your third eye is open you want to get to king of wands that's the energy you're trying to get to so let's get ready to close it out let's get your questions for you so like i said before virgo is a very meticulous sign it's a sign as analytical practical and also a very health conscious sign so somebody may feel like you know i'm stressed when i think about certain things and i may want to you know, go pick up something to eat that I stopped eating a long time ago. And now I'm thinking about it again and I'm having that kind of craving. That's why you want to make sure when you feel emotionally depleted, I need to pick up something that nurtures my soul. Find out what your moon sign is. The link to birth charts is in the description. Here are the questions. First question is, are you ready to define what you no longer need or want with a practical and objective eye? Second question is, can you define what's yours to fix and what's not in your life? Third question is, do you feel any fear around being fully self-sufficient and independent? Fourth question is, how could you learn more from nature? And then last but not least, um, Aries, could you share your free time and your energy in a valuable and charitable way? Of course you can. Of course you can. All right, connect with your womb. These are things that you're passionate about. Right there at that sacral chakra, the things that bring you joy, things that, you know, that creativity, connecting with that, connecting with sensuality, fertility, emotional range, sexuality. See, right there in that, in that water, right there in that pelvic bowl area, um, where you're passionate about something that was just developed between the ages of 8 and 14. Sources like get back to that. Whenever you get stressed out, get back to doing something that you love to do. Maybe, you know, your parents took you shopping when you were around that age and you just develop, okay, I, I got the shopping bug. I, lo I love to shop. But as long as you're not overdoing it or I learn how to play an instrument or I like to sing or, you know, something creatively that gives you joy. That's what Source wants everybody to go back to when your water is depleted, you know, that that when you feel like or drinking more water, going swimming, going to the beach, whatever you need to do to that brings out that that eight to 14 year old in you. Some people like going to the amusement parks. Goddess. 14. Make sure to feel it in your bones for you are what you believe. That's right. So this is a pivotal point in your life. 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. And then we have right here, we have the um, 1 plus 6, I mean 1 plus 5 is 6. Like you're, you're going through a rebirth. Somebody is saying, okay, I need to let go of something. I need to do a cord cutting ceremony. Like you just gave birth to something. And so you don't leave the umbilical cord attached. You're, you're disconnecting or detaching the umbilical cord. and You're just releasing it in love. Again, releasing it in love. So it's a healthy detachment. So that again, you're not attracting the energy that you no longer want in your life. What else we have here? Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. 
And your ancestors are actually very proud of you. You know, I think a lot of times when, when, when things first, you know, when people, that's why fights break out sometimes when people feel like they lost something, like at a wedding, somebody feel like, you know, they lost their sister or brother to whoever they're marrying or a funeral. Somebody feels like they can't get their emotions together. They didn't say enough while their person was still alive. When, when jobs let you go, like they just, somebody call you into the office and say, you know, we no longer need your services anymore. You know, you don't know how to act. First, it can hit you like, like, okay, I don't even know. I'm in shock. I don't know what what happened. What did I do? And sometimes you're looking for answers. And those times you want to go directly to source within. You want to go directly to source within and, and, and kind of sit back. And what lesson did I need to learn from that? Have people been acting a certain kind of way in the workplace for a while? Did I hear that they were doing some layoffs and they weren't really sure who they were going to lay off? You may be shocked that it was you, you know, or on the other side of things, um... You may have been praying while you were in a relationship. You know, God, release me from this. Give me an exodus strategy out of this romantic relationship or friendship or whatever, because I just don't feel like this is this is for me. And the person just cut you off, answered prayer. Again, bottom line, source is saying to you, if you really sit down with self, like you can practice when you watch this video, sit down with self in a quiet space and go within and ask God, you know, ask God for, for answers. Freedom. Yeah, somebody finally feels free. I know I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Yeah. So when we talk about two things that somebody's releasing, it's not always two people, right? I said two energies. So it could be resentment and it could be frustration, anger. It could be anything that causes you to vibrate so low that it affects everything around you. And it's tempting when you think about certain people, places, and things, right? It gets you just that angry. I'm talking about it and I'm, I'm going to burn down their business and I'm going to, you know, leave a whole, a horrible review on it, you know, whatever, such and such that only comes back to burn you. Or, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk about, every, I'm going my, to align myself with people who are talking negatively about them. And I'm not going to take up because that person is telling the truth. All of that, low vibrating energy, release it. So somebody is definitely free, definitely free. They don't have to worry about, they don't have to worry about, you know, having to explain anything anymore. You don't have to worry about going back and forth, you know, trying to explain yourself or any of that. Here we have 16. I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker, and your angels ask to ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. So something is definitely over. When we're talking about sharing your knowledge for the benefit of others, it's again, it's in love. I forgive whomever for whatever. I hope they forgive me, you know, for maybe something I'm not sure what I did or whatever the case may be. Again, it's releasing something in love and moving on. Uh, last card and let's close it out. Wisdom. That's right. I am a lifelong learner. I listen more than I speak. I listen to understand, not to reply. Divine wisdom flows freely into my life. I make wise decisions. I am prudent. I am patient. That is right. That is right. That is right. All right. So let's, let's get two more cards and let's close this out. Your hard work is paying off. So somebody is definitely investing in themselves. They could also be a Capricorn in the midst. Or they could be a Capricorn on a cusp of Aquarius or an Aquarius on the cusp of a Capricorn, you know, for somebody. And um, like I said before, when you see things from a higher frequency, like I said, this judgment card is attached to Pluto, which is currently retrograde. And it's retrograde until October 10th. Saturn is also retrograde. Did I see the world card? Up here? Yeah, so... Um, Aquarius and Capricorn actually share Saturn. So retrograde here gives you a time, gives you an opportunity to slow down and think about, okay, what do I need to close out? It could also be a Scorpio involved. Um, I need to close out something airtight. I need to go ahead and, and finally just release something, but I'm releasing it in love. The tricky part of it, like I said, and I got to reiterate this because the enemy is very, very crafty. Soon as you say you want something, God says, okay, I'll give you what you want. But again, there's something that has to be sacrificed, right? It's, all, it's not always outside of your universe. It starts within your universe first, like the thinking about it, causing you to vibrate low, you know, getting upset or... Um, 
chronic fatigue, th that kind of thing, low self-esteem, you know, talking about people who's a narcissist, all of that stuff. So the enemy is always listening. Okay. Oh, Aries asked for something. Okay. And so remember God created the enemy. And so, you know, our lowest selves, you know, we may want to go get a metaphysical dictionary if you believe in the devil, but, but bottom line is source is saying to, to you, don't be tempted to breathe air back into something that God has already released. And even if you say, well, that person, they brought it up. I didn't even bring it up, but you entertained it. You still gave air to it. So that's how tricky the enemy is. So here's the last card. For me, the great reward is the feeling of lasting contentment and self-respect that comes when you are living out the truth of who you are. Oprah quote. That is what I have for you again. Happy Sunday. Hopefully those questions have helped you, you know, to understand, you know, this is a great time this weekend. You can spend some time just with self and just being in receiving mode and just recognizing that we have two planets that are currently retrograde. Neptune is about to go retrograde, but that's for, that's enough for the next reading. Focus on those two planets that are retrograde. Pluto, Pluto, which is the power and transformation planet, is the death and rebirth planet. And then Saturn, maturity and also authority, right? So somebody is looking at things from a very mature uh, way and just saying, I need to go ahead and I'm just taking the authority. I'm initiating, you know, just closing out the cycle and just moving on my life as if the situation is over forever. That's what I have for you. Um, and I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.